Looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 21 coins? Look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and their coins are currently discounted a ton. Make sure to take advantage and use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm making a bunch of bees video. Top 10. They won't be in any specific order as per usual. I would just be going through them. I mean, some of the better ones are towards the front, but it's no order because, again, it's really hard to differentiate budget beats because, like, your team might be missing a speed guy, so you want this guy. Your team might be missing a well rounded guy, so this guy's better for you. So, putting them in order doesn't help a specific person. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, for the most part, guys, this is my budget beast list. Haven't made one of these since, I believe, early, early September, guys. So, it's time to update this list. We have plenty of team of the weeks, plenty of promos, plenty of low cards. So, Excited to get into it, guys. But before we get into today's video, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell. So join the family. If you want to join the Poodle Squad? All you gotta do is comment down below, Poodle Squad. And as per usual, make sure to go ahead and comment down below, like the video, and turn on the notification bell. Pretty much it, guys. Now, if you guys uh, for today's Poodle Squad shoutouts, I bop you for fun. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you so much for showing support each and every day. Now, moving on from that, guys. If you want any coins? Pick up these players. If you're on a budget, but you can't afford the budget players. And you guys still need some coins, Mutt Reserve is definitely where to go, guys. You can go ahead and pick up some cheap coins on discount right now. Use code POOL 15% off. Now, let's get to this list because it can be kind of long. Now, this is a repeat guy. So, there's usually two to three players that do make the next list because I thought they were good enough. So, for this week's repeat, coming at number 10, guys. Now, this guy is super, super solid in my opinion. He's really good. And he's definitely worth the scoop if you can afford him. Now, the only thing with this guy is going to be, which is Robbie Anderson, by the way. The only thing with him is going to be that he is a lower overall at this point, but 25k is a steal in my opinion. 89 speed, all 80s across the board besides short or outrunning, but you can power him up. So pretty much you have a 90 speed receiver that can decently catch and route run across the board and also 6 foot 3. Guys, he's super solid. You don't get that height and speed combo at 25k anymore like that. Highly recommend you pick him up. Definitely, definitely a scoop in my opinion. And of course, he's a little bit behind on overall in terms of other guys, but it's very hard to get 90 speed at that height and that skill for that cheap to my opinion next guys on the list we got derwin james now derwin james is super super solid the flashback derwin james oh not the flashback the uh the rising stars was super solid 91k is a steal so he can be powered up remember that so if you power him up he'll have 90 speed 92 excel 82 tackle 88 play rec 86 pursuit 86 man 88 zone and 89 hit power so if you come up, he will get the zone threshold, the man threshold. He'll have an 89 hit power, 90 speed, six foot two guys. You can't beat that. Zone man, close to hit power and a 90 speed at 92 excel at a tall height of six foot two, all while being under 100k guys. You really just can't. You can't argue that. You really just can't argue that these days when you get a car like that for that price that hits so many, so many thresholds. Now, the thing with the next guy. Again, another guy that's kind of behind, but I still use him to this day. Even as a, I use him sometimes as a backup, sometimes as a starter. It really depends on my tight end situation. But Jonu Smith is such a solid tight end for 22K. He gets 85 speed, 84 cat, oh, all ages across the board catching with an 80 short out running and 85 speed. He slants in anything I need him to do. He doesn't do it like, you know, like a chemmed up Darren Waller, but the speed's there. So when he gets the ball in space, he makes plays for me. I could have swore it was an 84 speed, but an 85 speed definitely gets the job done. He's a super, super solid card. Now, this guy's a guy that I wanted all year, but he was always so expensive. And now I feel like he's actually a budget player. And that's going to be Asante Samuel. Now, Asante Samuel is a super, super solid budget card. He's just great. 92,000 coins for Asante Samuel, who's one of the glitchiest cornerbacks early in the year. He's 5'10". He power, you can power him up, remember. So he gets 90 speed, 90 excel, 89 agility, 86 jumping, 90 play rec. 84 zone and 91 i'm sorry 84 man 94 uh, one zone and remember with lockdown and everything maxed out you will get him to an 80 press and you probably can get him to like an 88 89 man so he's gonna have the zone threshold the speed 90 the agility 90 everything you need super athletic super good at covering he's not gonna be a man guy but again it's a budget squad you cannot expect to have a budget squad and have a guy that can come up everywhere and of course there's gonna be some guys like that that will probably make this list but for the most part that's not gonna be the most expected thing Next, guys, we got this guy who should be... You can actually get this guy for free, and that's DK Metcalf. You can get him for free, which is why he's on this list. Go ahead and play your uh, solos. Go get him for free. Hopefully, you did already. 92 speed, 92 jumping, 84 catching, 87 catching traffic, 88 spec, 86 short, 83 medium, and 86 deep route running. Now, you can power him up and chem him up. He'll have 93 speed on a budget squad, which is going to be the fastest guy you can obtain pretty much in the game, let alone on a budget squad. He's going to get deep route running threshold, guys, which means he's going to be a deep route running fiend. 
That's pretty much it. He's six foot three. Again, just like Robbie Anderson, you don't get that height, that speed, that route running on a guy. And especially because he could be free. And again, even if you have to pay 155k for him, I think it's still kind of budgety to have a guy that's the fastest guy in the game. Now, for a god squad, maybe you don't rock with him because there's a guy with similar speed that can get better stats. But with a budget squad, all you care about is that speed. And he gets a deep route running. I think it's overall just a steal in general. And moving on, guys, when it does come to a user, this is where Trey Apke falls into place because, again, he may only be a 76 overall, but when you're looking at user, you're focusing on one thing, and that's pretty much just speed and change of direction. Now, his change of direction is going to fall at an 80, which is quite right in line with the threshold of most pretty good users. And he also has a 90 speed and a 91 X XL, 6 foot 1 height, 88 agility, 88 jumping. Like, he gets the job done. So if you spent a few, some extra coins on the guys down below, Trapke is a perfect user. Now remember, your user overall really doesn't matter. Now throwing on playing, you guys in my lineup, you're like, why is Devin Bush in there? Why was Patrick Queen in there at that low of an overall? I'm just like, because they're fast. When I'm usering, a lot of things don't apply, like their play recognition, their man, their zone. None of that applies. So I technically overrule that, override that when I'm playing as them. So to me, it matters the speed, hit power, excel, height. That's usually all that matters to I me. Mean, of course, tackle too, because there's certain times when it gets annoying if you can't make a tackle with your guy, but Track is going to be great, especially if you use your deep. Again, if you want to end up usering like in the short, in the box, it's great too. But if they start running on you, you may have to sub them out or just not use him anymore and get a bigger guy in the box. On to the next guy. We got Sean Murphy Bunting. I was usually like in the 80k to 90k range. A little more expensive at this moment in time, but you got to pick him up. If you're a budget team, you cannot go wrong with Sean Murphy at cornerback. Of course, he has no power, but it's suck. But 92 speed, 91 excel, 89 agility, 93 jumping, 83 player rec, 86 man, 83 zone, 85 press. Super well-rounded, can do just about everything well. You do put lockdown on you can get his man to a 90 as well as his press. So if you can lock him down, you can make him a solid man press corner with 92 speed, 91 excel, and 6 feet tall. You cannot go wrong with the Sean Murphy bunting on your squad. Again, he may not hit the zone threshold, but we're in a man meta anyway. So 93 jumping, 92 speed, 90 zone, 90 press. We'll get the job done. I can promise you that. And of course, he does have 89 change of direction as well, which is actually super solid. Decent pursuit, decent everything else. I think this card's really, really good. Honestly, I think he could make some God Squads as well, even as like just a, a man-only kind of guy, because he does have that great speed, which is definitely important. Now, this guy falls under a similar thing to Troy Akpi. Now, that's Darnell Savage. Darnell Savage, only 4K. You really can't go wrong with this guy either as a user. As a user, he's going to have the 89 speed, 87 Excel, 88 power. So, this comes down to this. If you want a guy with hit power in the box, right? So, Troy is kind of the guy like you want to be able to play deep and short and everything. Now, if you just want a guy to play linebacker, like a budgety linebacker instead of buying one, you just get Darnell Savage. You get 89 speed, 87 excel, 80 hit power, 5'11", 86 jumping in the box, 80 change of direction. You'll put him right there at linebacker. He'll be able to still hit what track you couldn't do, but he'll also simultaneously be able to play coverage, and you can use him as well. Again, those are just some budget guys. Like, of course, when you're doing a budget squad, not everyone could be a 100K player. You're going to have to have those guys who are like, like that. A savage and uh, actually that will do their job like know your team understand certain things like you don't have to have a good overall guy there like i never used junior say out at a point because i was like it just wasn't worth it when there's a guy like devin bush way cheaper and i'm gonna use her anyways next guy's with aaron donald who did get a plus one to his power up so remember he does get to a 90 overall and for the short the slow cost of 85k for aaron Donald right now you can get him up to a 90 overall which will essentially get him to an 89 power move 89 block shed um 89 oh 90 play rec above 90 strength 76 speed so remember if you powered up and came to up you can get him above 90 power move which makes him an elite pass rusher on a budget squad as well as his block shit can almost get there if you do end up using run stuff or any of those stuff so check that out as well as guys the play rec's gonna be above 90 the strength's great the, ex the uh athleticism is great very very well rounded can do everything and on a budget squad that's at for defense i think that matters on offense you definitely want specialists like speed guys catching guys but on defense if you can find a guy like aaron donald that can do just about everything on the field that you really need him to do at a price like that and he's a power expansion which makes it even nicer you definitely want to go ahead and take advantage of that now for the final guy a lot of you guys might already have him but if you don't you definitely want to be scooping him patrick queen is a stud on budget squads right now patrick queen will be able to get he has an 88 overall card that he just got for team of the week which let's find that here so 101k of course you can get that for a bit cheaper filter snipe him out 88 speed 90 excel 89 tackle 86 play rec 78 block shot 87 hit power 72 zone you don't necessarily have to use her he has a decent enough zones where he may make a play but i recommend him as a user in the box if you need a linebacker user 88 speed 90 excel you also get the hit power you get the height at six feet tall you get a 78 change of direction which is kind of low but again he's gonna be great at shooting gaps great at being a user 
Or you can just leave him alone in the box if you just want speed on the field and then use your guy like Savage or Ackbeard, one of those guys. But I think overall, guys, the list is pretty solid. Let me know down below who's your favorite budget piece on the list. I'd love to hear that down below. Give me your number one on my list and then give me the number one that you would have on your list that isn't on you right now. So let me know down below. But guys, better for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. If you want a chance to be shout out in the Poodle Squad, like the video, turn on the notification bell, comment down below Poodle Squad. And of course, subscribe to the channel, boys. If you need coins, pick up any of these budget players. Head over to my reserve down below. Coins are just kind of heavily right now. Just go Poodle for an additional 15% off. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.